Okay, so this time I thought we would draw um, hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. So let's draw some monkeys. All right, so let's just draw, like, on the side of your paper over here, we'll draw the top of the head. And then we're going to draw sort of like a shape like that for their forehead. And then we're just going to draw this sort of a kind of a round or oval shape here. And the nose we're going to put right there, coming like that. And then we'll just put a kind of a smile on there. We can put the eyes different places. You know, sometimes they're close together and sometimes they're far apart. So we'll just put a couple eyes in there. So let's just shade this in kind of gray right here. So we're going to draw the monkeys first, and then we'll do the hands. So let's just, the distinctive feature, you know, on a monkey might be kind of a large ear. So we can draw the big curve there and the little curve there. We can also draw a line right there that makes it look kind of like an ear. And maybe a little line like that. Okay, so let's just try one on the other side. Kind of big there, big curve there, and then a little curve there. And then we'll put the little line there and the little line there. So let's see, so we're just going to kind of indicate a little bit of the shoulder right there. And then we're just going to draw these legs. Um, we're just going to draw a curve like that that comes sort of down like that. And then the other side. And then another one over here. We'll just draw these two two curves like that. And for these feet, we could just do like one, two, three, four, like that maybe. Just a curve like that. One, two, three, four. Curving that way. And we're going to do one, two, three, four, kind of curving that way, like the toes are kind of facing you. And then we're just going to sort of gray in this. Okay, we'll just get those kind of gray. And then I'm going to get out a one of the crayons in the crayon box. I like, you know, either apricot or peach. And then thinking a little bit darker brown. Oh, I picked out just plain brown. Okay, so uh, let's not color them in yet though. So we're going to put those to the side. Let's give them a shadow. Um, whenever I make a shadow, I like to make it... This is really actually my favorite art trick I've ever learned. And that is that the darkest part of the shadow is right next to the object. So do you see how it's darker there and then it gets lighter and lighter and lighter as it goes away? 
and then you can smear it. So the shadow, you can just layer it and layer it and layer it until you get it super dark there and super light out here. Again, that's my favorite art trick I've ever learned. Like, oh wow, that looks so cool. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're not going to worry about the arms right now. We can just maybe make a little suggestion of the chest here. And we're going to draw the three monkeys. And then we're going to put the arms on. And then we'll color it in. Okay, so maybe we could make one just slightly taller. Make them look a little different. Again, we're going to put the forehead on. And then we're going to do like a, maybe you want to make a, a little bit longer oval. Give them a little different look. And the nose. And maybe position the mouth a little different spot. Maybe the eyes a little closer together. I actually like to draw, like when I draw the eyes, I'll just draw it kind of big here. I would draw like a, a circle. I'm going to erase this and then maybe a line on top of it. But just to let you know kind of how I do it. There's a lot of ways to do anything, but it, I think it's kind of fun to learn different artist techniques. So, not to say this is the only way to draw a monkey, that's for sure. Just one way. Actually, the hair, if you draw lines going straight up on top of that gray area, that's kind of what I would probably do. Just draw some lines going straight up, just to give them a little to show what was really going on here. Um, okay. So, so the, the peace quote we're doing here is, I think I said it, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Alright, so let's put some ears on this one. Maybe I'll make long ears this time. So he has a little different look to him. Little shoulders. And the legs. We're going to do one curve this way. And one curve that way. We'll do something a little different with the feet this time, just for the heck of it. When I was researching how to draw, you know, these guys, um, I saw one that had his feet on top of the other foot. So we could go like this, curve up and down. There's that S curve again. And then maybe another one here smaller one. And so the toes could be like going over the other foot. And then you can color those in, those legs. I'm checking on my other foot here. Color those legs. Okay. So we got those gray. And these feet could just be like, it's kind of like the other one. Curve one, two, three, four. And you could kind of even round them off a little bit. And let's give him a shadow. 
I used to uh, draw at the San Francisco Zoo all the time I would go there and talk about peaceful oh my gosh that was so nice I love to do that I love to I would just spend the whole day you know just going from one animal to the other and oh the monkeys were so much fun to draw I loved they were so they just like so happy <laughs> I don't know. I really thought they were so much fun to draw. All right, so let's just draw one more. Um, okay, let's draw the. We'll start with the forehead and the eyes. I mean, the head and the forehead. Gray it in. Maybe this time I'm going to do one that's just a little bit more oval that way see what that looks like. Maybe he has a small mouth. Maybe the eyes are a little farther apart. Just give all these monkeys a little different character. Alright, then we'll put the ears on. Your choice. Invent your own monkey this time. And the nose. And... Okay, so we'll put the little shoulder on there and another set of legs and that's sort of up to you Ch choose one of the two kind of feet I'll just keep it simple and do those one two three four So uh, I had a, a cousin that went to hear the Dalai Lama speak in Indiana, and I asked him what was the one thing that he sort of came away thinking, and he, I thought it was interesting. He said, the importance of being a good listener. And so I thought that was interesting. So that's... I you know, I had searched out quite a few quotes um, on listening as part of the um, the peace book. So I um, I thought I would just read a couple of those. Um, one of them is, courage is what it takes to stand up and speak. Courage is also what it takes to sit down and listen. So maybe we can, you know, solve some conflicts. You know, we talk about conflict resolution. So maybe one of the ideas there is to listen. You know, be a good listener. So let's put, uh, since we're talking about listening... Let's do the monkey's ears for the listener. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is, oh, we're going to start with this guy right here. Well, we're not going to see the ears, so we're going to erase those ears, okay? And the hands, we're going to just, we're going to do the hands. Okay, so you're going to go, let's erase a little bit of the shoulder too. Okay. Because the ears are covered up on this one. So what are the hands going to do? They're going to go like this and like that. We're going to do one hand at a time. And then the fingers are going to go that way. So we're going to go like 
we can just go like that. And it, since it's a side view, you wouldn't see that many fingers, so we're going to just indicate another finger there. So basically, this is the part of the hand like that, and then we're going to put the arm on. Keep it simple. There's the arm. It's going to go like that. And we're going to color it in gray. That make sense? I hope. So, ready for the next one? We're going to do the curve for that's the bottom of the hand. And it's going to go up like that and then close to the head. Put a little finger on there. Narrow is going to be good. And we could put an another one just to indicate a little bit of a finger there. And then we'll put the, you know, we can draw this side of the hand, but basically we're just going to put a arm on it. You could go down like that at the bottom of the arm to show the elbow if you want. So there's our here no evil. We can just make it a little bit gray down here too. So since we finished one, let's take uh, that color, the light brown, and let's just go over the mouth and the nose. We outline things so that they don't smear. I'm going to go over the eyes, over the forehead, and then I might clean my crayon just on a scrap sheet of paper. clean color when you work. Alright, so we're just going to color in this face. So after I go over everything, it shouldn't smear. Then I'll go over the hands too. And then we can kind of go over those, this part. We can color this like that. Just do one row, then another row. I'm not pushing down very hard. I like to build up color. So that's why it, I like the idea of making layers and layers and layers and layers rather than pushing down hard. Okay. So that's the light color. We can just really softly take a, a brown and color in the dark part. I'm not pushing very hard. You have to be careful. Brown's a pretty dark color. You push down too hard. Uh, I like, to, you know, you're going to get lines. So I like to push down really, really softly and layer the browns rather than push down hard on that too. His feet would be a light brown also. You can even put the light brown on top of the other browns to make it all kind of go together a little bit. I hope you like your monkey. This is an old Japanese proverb. As far as I could tell. <laughs> Sometimes you find a quote and a bunch of people different places there like you have different ownership so anyway um now we're going to go after we've done here no evil so now we're going to do the um what should we do see no evil hear no evil they might not be in the right order to the quote but that's okay so what are we going to do here we have to erase the eyes Um, 
And let's just kind of race a little bit that way and that way. We can always erase more if we need more. Um, let's try that. So, erase the eyes. We'll still see a little bit of the nose, maybe the top of the ear. Okay. So we're going to get these hands coming over the eyes. Um, we're going to go like this. Let's see. I'm going to suggest that we just make a curve like that. Like that. That's one finger. Because it's kind of wrapping around the monkey's face. Then we can do another finger. This would be the longest one. And then a short one. Okay, let's do the other side. One finger, kind of curving around the face. And another finger, a little bit longer. One, two, three. I'd, if you want to bend it a little, that's probably going to look good. Like that a little bit. Okay. And then, so I got these fingers wrapping around. And so basically the arm's going to come out like that. And remember we had like that pointed part for the elbow. So we could kind of do something like that. So the hand is just going to go down, maybe make a pointed elbow and back. We can erase the bottom to make it look like the elbow's in front of the foot. And then make it gray. So when we think about this see no evil, I think sometimes that uh, you have to be careful what you watch. Um, my daughter, she'll never forgive me. I let her watch a really scary movie when she was little, and she was like, Mom, why did you let me watch that movie? You know, and I've always felt really bad. It was a scary movie. I'm not going to tell you which one it was, but it was a scary movie. And she always didn't, she always was kind of mad at me that I let her watch it. Um, so you just have to be, you have to be sort of careful of what you watch. Um, okay, we forgot to draw, you know, we can just draw like the part of the chest there. And then make it a little darker down here. You have to protect your eyes. She's a dancer now. That's what she does. She lives in New York City and is all about beautiful, uh, movements. <laughs> I guess they're not all beautiful. I mean, sometimes dancers dance things that have other emotions. But anyway, um, so we're going to just color, do the flesh tones, just like we did before. The light color which doesn't have a lot of hair on this part of his body. We can color in the ears this time and the feet. So we'll color those. Again, you know, if you if everything's starting to smear, that's because you didn't go um, outline it. You know, go over the pencil first. So and then I picked up my brown. And I'm going to go over the other part of the monkey. These images of hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, they, they've they been depicted in art. Oh, millions, I don't know about millions, but lots of different artists have interpreted these images. 
it's always fun to to see them. Like you might see them in a gift shop or at a art fair. You might see an image that someone's made it out of clay or in lots of different drawings. Um, this very ancient thought. So be careful what you see. Walk away from things that you don't think you should be seeing that aren't, you know, things you should see. So hear no evil. You know, of course you wouldn't want to do anything that anyone else could see. You would never want to do it. So you don't want to litter, throw garbage right in the street because other people could see you do that. And that's, so you don't want to you know, do things that people see either. You don't want to be mean. You don't want to be a bully because people can see that. Um, so now we're going to go to the area of speak no evil. Okay? All right? So we're going to put one hand on top of the other hand. Okay? So we don't have to drop both hands this time. We're going to get rid of the monkey's mouth. Okay, so we'll get rid of the monkey's mouth there, and then, okay, so here's how we're going to draw this. We're going to draw the, sort of the, this is going to be the hand on top. We're going to draw that curve on the hand, and it's basically just going to come like that. So this hand's going to go on top of the other one. So here's the top of the hand. And then we're going to draw the fingers. One. You could go like this. Like one, go that way, and then down. Two. You might get a little closer. You can even do three curves. And maybe we wouldn't even see the other finger. Okay, now this hand is going to come this direction, like it's on, under it, and we're just going to go like that, sort of, and just indicate a couple of fingers, one, two, three, so we'll, you know, it looks like the hand is under it, and then put the, the arms on, down, Put the point for the elbow and back. Down, point for the elbow and back. Okay, so now we can color in the arms a little bit, gray those a little bit. And then go to the other arm. So now we're speak no evil. And then color it. Oh, we'll do the shadow too. All right. Okay, and then I'll just take my crayon and outline. So when you think about speaking no evil, you know, you, we don't want to, you know, embarrass anyone or make anyone feel bad about themselves, you know, just so you got to be careful what you say, because you don't want people to, to feel bad if you said something. You know, you got to be careful when you, you know, you don't want to talk about people. Because, 
you wouldn't want people to talk about you, right? So you have to be sort of careful and not talk about it. My mom, when I was growing up, she always said, if you can't say something nice, don't say it. And there's some truth to that. So, you know, yeah, you don't want to say bad things. It's like that other quote from uh, the other lesson was about you are a product of your thoughts, what you think you become by Gandhi. So, so speak no evil. Good lesson. No evil. Alright, so there we go. We've got hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. And so let's just put that underneath our three monkeys. So the quote goes. It goes, see no evil. Whoops, gotta move it over. There we go. See no evil, comma, hear no evil. Speak no evil. And that is a Japanese proverb. Very ancient thought. Very good idea. All right, well, I hope you uh, like your monkeys and teach someone else how to draw them.